What up, folks? Peach and Blaze here. This is going to be our last crawfish bowl of the season. We're going to we're, we're putting the water to the pot right now, and then we're going to start purging them. All right, we got the we're putting water in the bucket right now, and while that's filling up, we're putting the rinse. Got these in the basket, the seafood basket, and we're going to be putting a rinse on these. So we got one trying to get away. Get back in there. hard rinse on these and then we're going to add this to the bucket of water here in a little bit with some salt and start the purging process. So what we're doing is I got, I've been having this seafood basket. This is called a shrimp seafood basket and people buy this to put shrimp in. Well I use it to clean my crawfish and I've been looking for something because what I was doing I was taking this crawfish out of the basket and putting it in an ice chest and just uh, rinsing them off in an ice chest. But this, when I saw this at home at uh, Lowe's, I figured it would fit perfect with my my round basket, and it does. I got lucky. So what I'm doing is I'm uh I'm just getting a hard rinse on these to knock the dirt off the outside of the body. There's no salt or anything. This is just water. Now you don't want to leave crawfish in here too long because they will drown. But we're getting a good little rinse on them pull that out you can see that water how dirty it is well that's what we're taking off the crawfish so we're not putting it in our in our boiling water and what we'll do is we'll dump that water out and put some fresh water and then we'll add the salt in our purging without all the dirty water so right here while we're waiting on the water to get hot the water's getting hot right now come over here we do all that prep work Got some garlics and onions in there with some uh, smoked sausage. We're gonna squeeze these lemons in there. We got these potatoes we're gonna put in there. We got some mushrooms. Now, I will say this corn right here, we just this year we started putting this fresh corn in there and it makes a world of difference. Sase ball. We got our zatarans. Extra spicy crab bowl here. We got the liquid bowl and we got some cayenne pepper, all zatarans. So our water's ready. It's hot, it's ready to add the seasoning. We're gonna add this extra spicy crab bowl to it. One container is all you need. For that anyway. That's a good Cajun brew right there. Oh, it's boiling real good. We got our spices added in there. We're gonna add our lemons. I like to add about a dozen lemons, 10 to 12 lemons. You can squeeze them, drop them in. Squeeze them, drop them in. Potatoes. 
Crawfish and the uh, and the rest of the supplies to the border. Once it comes to a boil, we're going to let it boil for five minutes. After the five minutes is done, we're going to shut the fire off and then we're going to add our shrimp to it. So we're going to let that boil for five minutes and come back at you. Oh, look at that little crawfish. He's telling you all high. That's a nice size crawfish right there. Oh, you're going to be so good. You're going to taste so delicious. Woo, baby. I can't wait. Okay, this is the Persian process. These are nice size. Oh, what we got here? Look at there. Oh man, look at that. Look, look at that little catfish. Little catfish. He got caught. He got caught in the basket when they were fishing for these crawfish. Oh, we definitely not gonna use him. We're gonna put him in the trash. cold steel knife, cut that open. We're gonna dump our shrimp in there. Give that a good little stir. That's four pounds, two pound bag. We're gonna take this shrimp and we're just gonna stir it in. And we're gonna let this crawfish sit here, and finish cooking, and soak it. Crawfish needs to soak up all the juices, so we're gonna let it soak for about 15, maybe 20 minutes until it sinks. See how all that crawfish is up at the top? It needs to sink to the bottom. That's what we're looking for. So we're gonna let that shrimp sit in that hot water for about five minutes, and then we're gonna add some ice to it. Oh yeah, looking good, looking real good. It's the first batch, fixing to dump that out. Gonna be All right, good. guys, this is the second sack. These are a whole lot larger. I mean, Krokum, Sah! Oh, man, these are big! So the water's boiling, we're gonna dump this last sack in there, and that'll be a wrap. After it boils, we're gonna boil for five minutes. Woo! Them little crawfish is hollering! You gotta see this water. 
Check that out. The crawfish in there. Now we're gonna put the lid on it. We're gonna let it boil for five minutes and we'll come back at you guys. See y'all in just a bit. Well, it's all over but the crying now. The people are sitting around the table enjoying some crawfish and uh, it's, it's the last crawfish of the season. We had fun and uh, let's take a look at what we got here. Oh man, so we got some shrimp, some onions, got some garlic and mushrooms in there. Look how nice these tails are. The second batch came out real good. Look at that corn, that's fresh corn. That's not that frozen stuff you buy at Albertsons. That's fresh from the field. Here you go, look at that sausage. Oh, God they don't. That's some good stuff there. Look at that shrimp. Already peeled and deveined. All right, guys, y'all have a wonderful day. The Cajun Blaze always says, God ain't I be, but see ya!